Hello students, welcome to my channel Hans Commerce Tutorial for the lectures on Commerce Accounts, Finance and Management. My suggestion to you, before watching the video, please go to the description below my video. You will find a link there. Take a printout of the problems given in the link and keep it ready before watching the video so that you can be able to understand the problem, the solution and the explanation to get the maximum benefit from the lectures. Thank you. Come on, now we'll start the next problem that is problem number six. <clears throat> from the following data, calculate Carl Pearson's coefficient of skewness, age in years 10 to 15, 15 to 20, 20 to 25, 25 to 30, 30 to 35 number of persons so here again it's a continuous frequency distribution and frequency is given now see here already we have done the problem on continuous series Carl Pearson's coefficient of skewness age is given number of persons are given n49 mid values 10 plus 15 divided by 2 12.5 17.5 mid values we have taken now f into m fm the total of fm is 1062.5 1062.5 divided by 49 you'll get 21.68 now 21.68 again we are getting in fraction already mid values are in fraction so in order to get uh, take all these values as a whole number we should take nearest value 21.68 ka nearest value mid value mein 22.5 so i have taken assumed mean as 22.5 the deviations mid value minus a assumed mean so mid value minus 22.5 12.5 minus 22.5 minus 10 17.5 minus 22.5 minus 5 0 5 10 these are the deviations now multiply frequency with deviations 9 into minus 10 minus 90 10 into minus 5 minus 15 15 into 0 10 into 5 5 into 10 so we got summation fd minus 40 minus 90 minus 50 plus 50 plus 50 minus 40 fd square fd into d 90 into 10 950 into 5 250 minus into minus will become plus the total fd square is 1900 now we can calculate standard deviation summation fd square by n minus summation fd by n whole square under root so 1900 divided by 49 minus minus 40 divided by 49 whole square under root so standard deviation we get 6.173 so we got mean value and also standard deviation now we need the mode so highest frequency is 15 against the class 20 to 25 so we can take the model class as 20 to 25 mode formula l plus delta 1 divided by delta 1 plus delta 2 into i so l lower limit is 20 delta 1 is f4 minus f1 FO is the frequency of model class, F1 is the pre-model, F2 is the post-model. So 15 minus 10, 15 minus 10. So we got 5, 5. I width of the model class. Width of the model class is 5. So mode 20 plus 5 divided by 5 plus 5. 5 plus 5 into 5. So 25 by 10, 2.5. Mode is 22.5. So we got all the three values: mean, standard deviation, mode. So SKP mean minus mode divided by standard. So 21.68 minus 22.5 divided by 6.173. So SKP we got minus 0 0.133. This is the end of problem number 6. Now see the problem number 7. Compute coefficient of skewness based on Pearson's formula for the following information. Size 0 to 6, 6 to 12, 12 to 18. Frequency 12, 24, 38. Again, it's a continuous frequency distribution. Size 0 to 6, 6 to 12, 12 to 18, like that. Frequency is given in the problem, N179. Mid values, 0 plus 6 divided by 2, 3. 6 plus 12 divided by 2, 9, 15. These are the mid values. Multiply F into M, FM. The total of FM is 3, 4, 5, 9. The mean ka formula, summation FM by N. 3, 4, 5, 9 divided by 179, we are getting 19.324. Now we select any assumed mean which is in the mid values. So mid values ka khari, close, close value to 19.324 is 21. So I have taken assumed mean as 21. So M minus A. 
m minus 21 3 minus 21 minus 18 9 minus 21 minus 12 15 minus 21 minus 6 21 minus 21 0 6 12 the so deviations we got multiply f into d we'll get fd the total of fd is minus 300 fd square fd into d we'll get fd square now substitute in the formula standard deviation summation fd square same formula 12672 uh, by 179 minus minus 300 by 179 whole square so if you simplify you will get standard deviation 8.245 the highest we got the mean value we got the standard deviation now we need the mode the highest frequency is 52 against the class interval 18 to 24 the so model class is 18 to 24 again same formula mode is equal to l plus delta 1 divided by delta 1 plus delta 2 into i so lower limit 18 delta 1 f4 minus f f1 52 minus 38 52 minus 34 we got 14 and 18 delta 1 14 delta 2 18 i is equal to 6 width of the model class is 6 substitute will get mode value 20.625 so skp mean minus mode by standard deviation 19.324 minus 20.625 divided by 8.245 we'll get skp minus 0 0.158 so this is the end of problem number 7start problem number eight see the eighth problem compute Carl Pearson's coefficient of skewness marks 0 to 10 10 to 20 20 to 30 last one 60 to 70 continuous series number of students frequencies are 12 28 40 60 32 18 10 so this is a continuous series problem we are find out Carl Pearson's coefficient of skewness so marks are given same thing I have copied number of students total is 200 mid values the mid values of the marks are 5 15 25 now multiply f into m we'll get total fm 6660 so with the help of this we can find out the mean value summation fm by 6660 divided by 200 33.3 it is in fraction whereas the mid value are in whole number so select any value which is nearest to 33.5 the nearest value to 33.3 is 35. So we have assumed the mean taken as 35. So deviations m minus a m minus 35. So minus 30, 5 minus 35 minus 30, 15 minus 35 minus 20, 25 minus 35 minus 10, 0, 10, 20, 30. Now f into d, frequency into deviation, 12 into minus 30 minus 360, 28 into minus 20 minus 560. Like this, you multiply frequency with the deviation to get FD value. The total of FD is minus 340. Then FD square, multiply FD into D, you'll get FD square, 45,400. So, standard deviation formula, summation FD square by N minus summation FD by N whole square under root. So, 45,400 divided by 200. Then minus 340 divided by 200 whole square under root. So you will get the standard deviation 14.97. So we got the mean, we got the standard deviation, now mode. The highest frequency is 60 against the class interval 30 to 40. So we have taken the model class as 30 to 40. Now we substitute the value in the mode formula. Mode is equal to L plus delta 1 divided by delta 1 plus delta 2 into i. Lower limit is 30. Delta 1, 60 minus 40. 60 minus 40 and 60 minus 32. 2028. And width of the model class is 10. Substitute mode is equal to 30 plus 20 divided by 20 plus 28 into 10. So mode we got 34.167. Substitute in the formula of SKP mean minus mode divided by standard deviation. So we got minus 0 0.058 SKP for problem number 8. Now see the problem number 9. Ninth problem. Find Carl Pearson's coefficient of skewness for the following distribution and comment on the result. Class interval 3 to 7, 8 to 12, 13 to 17, 18 to 22, 23 to 27, 28 to 32. Frequencies are 108, 580, 175, 80, 32, 18. First of all, it's a continuous frequency distribution, but the classes are given inclusive type inclusive type 
we have to convert it into exclusive type and then only we can calculate mean, media, mean, mode and standard deviation. So how do we calculate? How do we convert? How do we convert? 3 to 7, 7 to 8. 7 to 8. 3 to 7. Then 8 to 12. By the 3 to 7, the next 8 to 12. So what is the upper limit of the first class? 7. What is the lower limit of the next class? 8. So 7 plus 8 divided by 2. You will get 7.5. Usitra first class jo hai uska lower limit 3 hai. So 3 sa pahile kya end honga? 2. So 2 plus 3 divided by 2. You will get 2.5. So pahila class interval over 2.5 to 7.5. Ab next class 7.5 se shuru hoga. So what is the upper control limit of the second class 12? Lower limit of the third class 13. So 12 plus 13 divided by 2, 12.5. Like this you have to make. So class interval 2.5 to 7.5, 7.5 to 12.5. Like that you have to continue 12.5 to 17.5, 17.5 to 22.5, 22.5 to 27.5, 27.5 to 32. So here what is the new point? We have converted the inclusive series into exclusive series, right? Frequency we have taken the same. 993 is the total frequency. Mid values 2.5 plus 7.5 divided by 2. You will get 5. 7.5 plus 12.5 divided by 2. 10. So we have taken all the mid values. Multiply F into M. FM. 540, 5800, 2625, 1600, the total FM, 11905. With the help of this FM, we can calculate the mean. X bar is equal to summation FM by M, 11905 divided by 993, 11.9889. This is the mean value. Now, standard deviation. Standard deviation, Malum Karne ke liye, deviations, M minus A. Here, 11.9889. This is the actual mean, it is in fraction, whereas the mid values are in whole number. So select any value which is nearest to 11.9889. The nearest value is 15. So we have taken the assumed mean as 15. Assumed mean as 15. So D is equal to M minus A, M minus 15. 5 minus 15 minus 10, 10 minus 15 minus 5, 15 minus 15, 0. Like this deviations. Now F into D. Multiply 108 into minus 10, minus 108. 580 into minus 5, minus 2900. 15 into 0, 0. Like this FD. The total of FD is minus 2880. FD square, FD into D. Multiply these two columns, you will get FD square, 36,500. Now we can substitute the values in the standard deviation formula. Summation FD square by N minus summation FD by N whole square under root. So values are here 36,550 divided by 993 minus minus 2880 divided by 993 whole square. So substitute karne ke baad standard deviation will get 5.33. So we got the mean, we got the standard deviation. Now mode chai. What is the highest frequency here? 580. What is the class interval? 7.5 to 12.5. This is the model class. Model class 7.5 to 12.5. Now we substitute in the formula. Mode is equal to L plus delta 1 divided by delta 1 plus delta 2 into 1. So delta 1 is equal to F4 minus F1. 580 minus 108. Yeah, F4. Yeah, delta 1. Okay. Delta 2, F580 minus 175. That is delta 1, delta 2. 472 and 405. Now we substitute. Lower limit is 7.5. Plus delta 1 is 472. Delta 2 is 405. Into I. Width of the model class. Model class ka width to 5. So substitute kato, we get mode value 10.19. We got all the three values mean, standard deviation, and mode. Substitute SKP is equal to mean minus mode divided by standard deviation. That is 11.9889 minus 10.19 divided by 5.33. So SKP we got 0 0.54. The comment for this problem is there is a positive skewness there's a positive skewness of 0 0.34 so this is the end of problem number 9
This is the last problem on Carl Pearson's coefficient of skewness. अब इसके बाद जो प्रॉब्लम हम करेंगे वो बाउलीज मेथड करेंगे दिस मच ऑफ प्रैक्टिस इज मोर देन एनफ टू हैव अ गुड कमांड ऑन कैलकुलेटिंग कार्ल पियर्सन्स कोएफिशिएंट ऑफ स्क्यूनेस राइट नाउ सी द 10th प्रॉब्लम इट इज अ लिटिल बिट डिफरेंट प्रॉब्लम कैलकुलेट कोएफिशिएंट ऑफ स्क्यूनेस ऑफ द फॉलोइंग फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ प्रॉफिट अर्न बाय 100 पार्टनरशिप फर्म्स ड्यूरिंग अ पर्टिकुलर पीरियड द प्रॉफिट्स आर गिवन इन थाउजेंड्स मोर देन 10 More than ट्वेंटी more than थर्टी तो यह क्यूमुलेटिव फ्रीक्वेंसी हो गया है क्लास इंटरवल नहीं दिया वी हैव टू मेक द क्लास इंटरवल वी हैव टू कन्वर्ट द क्यूमुलेटिव फ्रीक्वेंसी इन टू सिंपल फ्रीक्वेंसी नॉर्मल फ्रीक्वेंसी नंबर ऑफ पार्टनरशिप मोर देन हंड्रेड के लिए हंड्रेड है मोर देन ट्वेंटी के लिए नाइनटी सेवन मोर देन थर्टी के लिए नाइनटी सो दिस फ्रीक्वेंसीज विच आर गिवेन हंड्रेड नाइनटी सेवन नाइनटी आर क्यूमुलेटिव और जब भी मोर देन अगर देगा तो वी हैव टू स्टार्ट कैलकुलेटिंग फ्रॉम द लास्ट वन तो दो टाइप की क्यूमिलिटी होती है एक लेस देन क्यूमिलिटी एक मोर देन क्यूमिलिटी अगर लेस देन अगर दिया बिलो अगर दिया तो वी हैव टू स्टार्ट द कैलकुलेशन फ्रॉम बिगिनिंग फ्रॉम टॉप फर्स्ट जब मोर देन दिया या एब अगर देगा तो मेक द कैलकुलेशन फ्रॉम द बॉटम फ्रॉम द लास्ट वन सो हाउ टू कन्वर्ट हाउ टू कन्वर्ट दिस क्यूमिलेटिव इन टू नॉर्मल फ्रीक्वेंसी हियर इट इज गिवन Profit more than ten, more than twenty, more than thirty, like this, it is given in the problem. So we have converted. The difference between two uh, values is ten. So more than ten will take ten to twenty. More than ten will convert it into ten to twenty. Then twenty to thirty, thirty to forty, like the last one, ninety to hundred. Ninety to hundred. Now we'll start the calculations. More than ninety. More than ninety. का मतलब ninety to hundred. and the frequency is given more than 90 as 3 so we have taken 3 ab more than 80 problem mein diya 8 ab more than 80 mein more than 90 mila hua hai when we say more than 80 it includes more than 90 so we have to subtract we have to subtract so 8 minus 3 will get 5 then 15 minus 8 ab problem mein dekhiye aap frequencies jo hai wo minus karte jayenge last se to 15 minus 8 7 25 minus 15 10, 40 minus 25 15, 70 minus 40 is 30, 90 minus 70 20, 97 minus 90 is 7, 100 minus 90 is 3. After converting, get yourself confirmed whether we have done correctly or not. The total of frequency must be equal to 100 because problem is 100 diya. So 3 plus 7 plus 20, you add up all the frequency, you must get 100. Agar 100 aaya. तो ये कैलकुलेशन हमारे करेक्ट इफ यू कमिट एनी मिस्टेक यू विल नॉट गेट हंड्रेड ये हो गया फ्रीक्वेंसी द ओनली डिफरेंस इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इज क्यूमुलेटिव इज गिवन एंड वी हैव कन्वर्टेड द क्यूमुलेटिव इनटू नॉर्मल वंस इफ यू कन्वर्ट द क्यूमुलेटिव इनटू नॉर्मल द रिमेनिंग प्रोसीजर इज सेम सो वी कैलकुलेट द मिड वैल्यूज 20 plus 10 divided by 2, 15. 20 plus 30 divided by 2, 25. तो 15, 25, 35, 45. These are the mid values. Now we multiply f into m. Three into fifteen, forty-five. Seven into twenty-five, one seventy-five. Twenty into thirty-five, seven hundred. Like that, f into m, fm. The total of fm four nine eight zero. So we, with the help of fm, we can calculate the mean. X bar is equal to summation fm by m. Four nine eight zero divided by hundred forty-nine point eight. One answer we got mean. Secondly, we want standard deviation. अब स्टैंडेशन मालूम करने के लिए एक्चुअल मीन 49.8 आया तो वी विल नॉट टेक द डिविएशन फ्रॉम एक्चुअल मीन विल टेक द डिविएशन फ्रॉम एज्यूम्ड मीन सो सी एनी वैल्यू इन द मिड वैल्यूज व्हिच इज नियरेस्ट टू 49.8 49.8 के बिल्कुल खरीब वाला वैल्यू यू कैन टेक 45 और यू कैन टेक 55 एनीथिंग दोनों से आंसर एक ही आएगा यू टेक द डिविएशन इदर फ्रॉम 45 और फ्रॉम 55 सो आई हैव टेकन 55 तो एम मिड वैल्यूज वी हैव टेकन फ्री एफ एम हो गया डी डी इज इक्वल टू एम माइनस ए एम माइनस फिफ्टी फाइव आई है तो फिफ्टीन माइनस फिफ्टी फाइव माइनस फोर्टी ट्वेंटी फाइव माइनस फिफ्टी फाइव माइनस थर्टी थर्टी फाइव माइनस फिफ्टी फाइव माइनस ट्वेंटी तो ऑल डिविएशन रिकॉर्ड नाउ एफ इन टू डी मल्टीप्लाई फ्रीक्वेंसी विथ डिविएशन थ्री इंटू माइनस फोर्टी माइनस वन ट्वेंटी सेवन इंटू माइनस थर्टी माइनस टू टेन Like that frequency into deviation, you will get FD. 
एफ डी स्क्वायर मल्टीप्लाई एफ डी विथ डी माइनस इंटू माइनस विल बिकम प्लस वन ट्वेंटी इंटू फोर्टी फोर थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड माइनस इंटू माइनस प्लस टू टेन इंटू थर्टी सिक्स थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड लाइक द टोटल यू टेक यू टेक सेवन थर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड With the help of these two values and n value, we can find out the standard deviation. As usual, summation f d square by n minus summation f d by n whole square under root. So thirty five thousand two hundred divided by hundred minus minus five twenty divided by hundred whole square. So ultimately, you will get standard deviation eighteen point zero three. So mean we got standard deviation we got. Now we need mod. What is the highest frequency in these frequencies? Thirty. Against which class interval? Forty to fifty. So the highest frequency is thirty. Against the class interval, forty to fifty. So model class we got forty to fifty. Now we substitute in the formula. Mod is equal to L plus delta one divided by delta one plus delta two into I. Lower limit forty. F O minus F one. Delta one is equal to F O minus F one. So thirty minus twenty. 30 minus 15. So we got delta 1 10 and delta 2 15. Width of the model class. Width of the model class is 10. Substitute mod is equal to 40 plus 10 divided by 10 plus 15 into 10. So ultimately mod is equal to 44. Now we will find out the Carl Pearson's coefficient of skewness. Mean minus mod by standard deviation. Mean is 49.8 and mod is 44. Standard deviation is 18.03. So ultimately, we'll get this S K P zero point three two. So this is the end of all the problems on Carl Pearson's coefficient of skewness. Next to problem that is eleventh problem, we'll do it on Bowley's coefficient of skewness, which is also called coefficient of skewness based on quartiles. So that method will not require mean, mode, or standard deviation. That method we require only quartiles and median. तो वो method में हमको सिर्फ quartiles और median calculate करना है हमको mean और mode standard deviation नहीं मांग